Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and this week I'm going to be talking about the Afinal Salon Professional Kotoko Botanical Colours. This is a range of deposit only tone on tone colours. There are 12 colours to choose from, 9 being warm, 2 being cool and 1 is a crystal clear. They're ammonia free, PPE free, PPD free. These are a great option for clients that may have had reactions to other colours in the past they will cover up to 100% grey hair and I'll talk about that later on. They're also great for anybody that's really concerned about the environment as they're also vegan friendly and ethically sourced. These really are a great addition to have, especially again the clear which is a service that everybody wants. So Kotoko Colour has no activator, you're simply going to use boiled bottled water. You have nine warm shades, two cool shades and a clear. You can use the clear to either dilute down your other shades to make them lighter or simply as an all over glossing treatment which again is a fantastic service to offer to your clients. All of the shades are totally intermixable so again this expands the colour palette from the 12 exponentially. First thing you're going to do is use the primer shampoo. You're going to shampoo the hair with this to remove any impurities that are in the hair. Then you're going to towel dry and quickly blast dry the hair off. Now if this was a service that I was offering to my clients on a regular basis, I would probably ask them to buy the shampoo so that they could pre-do this coming into the salon, saving them time. The next thing you're going to do is choose your target colour. You have a sachet of 40 gram powder. You're going to mix this with 200 grams bottled boiled water. I would mix this together just before I started the rough dry process so that it had cooled down sufficiently. Now if you need to cover extra grey hair you're going to add 25% of the cooler shades so for darker hair you're going to add 25% of the peppercorn and for the lighter shades you're going to add 25% of the bitter chocolate. Once you've rough dried and just checked that the colour is cool enough to apply to the head you simply apply it to the head as you would any other tint. Then you're going to cover the client's hair with a plastic cap and put them under gentle heat for 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes just allow the colour to cool down and take them to the basin. Now thoroughly rinse without over agitating the scalp. Once you've tried this product you'll feel that it is actually sort of kind of gritty for want of a better word and you really don't want to go rubbing that onto somebody's scalp. So just lightly agitate it and rinse thoroughly. Once you've got all of that out you can do a shampoo and a conditioner with the Kotoko shampoos and conditioners. Then you're ready to dry your hair off. Now for the optimum results your client is going to need to not wet their hair or shampoo their hair for 48 hours so the colour really locks in. So the most common questions that are asked about this product is will it put a barrier up to my colour? And the simple answer is no. This is a henna based product. Am I going to be safe to use other colours with it? Yes you are. This is a very purified henna and the metallic salts have been removed out of it so you're going to have no problems with reactions moving forward with your client. In fact with the nine warm shades you can highlight through these. However with the two cool shades I would wait until they come out before going ahead with a highlighting process. My tip as well would be to add your water and then your powder as well. This just makes it easier to stir together and you don't seem to get as many lumps that you have to keep stirring to break up. If you need to cover grey resistant hair, all you're going to do is add 25% of the peppercorn or the bitter chocolate to your colour and this will help cover the grey resistant hair. In a lot of instances i found that I haven't had to add the full 25% of this to the colour. I hope you've enjoyed this video and there are more coming up so I'll see you next time.